physically die, there is no heaven or hell, but instead we return with another opportunity to attain enlightenment. It is also the one lie that many of the world elite believe today, which is that through the use of intellect, technology, and science, man will achieve immortality. This will become more obvious as we look into the sacred promise or ancient hope held close to those who are at work for the new world order. Satan was implying here that secret knowledge and wisdom will be available to them. This is the main proponent behind the nature of secrecy which all secret societies possess. It is the idea that unattainable information will be partitioned to those who submit to the request of the one who holds the knowledge. It also plays on the hope promoted by the New Age movement, which claims that we are all spiritually evolving into a higher consciousness, and that if one would only tap into this universal energy force, they would realize that they are God. The New World Order and its components, secret societies, New Age movement, transhumanist movement, and even the alien agenda in many ways is predicated on this one lie. The idea that man would become God is the elusive carrot on a stick that has been behind many, if not all, of man's attempts to acquire power, authority, and dominion over the masses while conquering death and nature in the process. Furthermore, we can trace ideas like pantheism and the concept that God is a force or that everything within the universe is God and thus we are God back to this lie. It is the ultimate deception because it plays on human pride. It is the driving force behind ideas such as morality is relative and karma. It is the denial of evil and accountability to sin. This is the core of the Luciferian doctrine it is the blueprint to what the select group of men have been working on for centuries. Exclusive knowledge to achieve immortality and become gods, all without the help of the Creator God, but by our own use of intellect. As we will come to see, this idea, which goes by many names like the Sacred Promise and an Ancient Hope, has been sought after by men for centuries. Here's the way they look at it. Here's their metaphor for the end of innocence. Adam and Eve were held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust, cruel, and vindictive God. Until Lucifer, through his agent Satan, set man free from this garden by giving him the gift of intellect. Through the use of intellect, man will conquer the earth, will conquer nature, and will himself become God. It's taught in every Masonic temple in this land. Every secret brotherhood, every secret society, Every mystical temple, every occult organization teaches the Luciferian philosophy. When our founders declared a new order of the ages, they were acting on an ancient hope that is meant to be fulfilled. I believe and there's, if you read esoteric wisdom philosophers and teachers and so on, this ancient hope is the idea that there has been a, a plan, an ambition, contained within secret societies for thousands of years to resurrect the lost empire of Atlantis. Uh, and for those who don't know, the whole idea of the new Atlantis and the new world order and the new order of the ages are, if you read the writings of these societies, they are all one and the same thing. The ancient hope, of which Bush refers to in his second inauguration speech, demonstrates that Bush, or at the very least the authors of his speech, are well aware of the plan initiated by an ancient occult hierarchy now operating as secret societies to forge a world empire. The promise to those who help build this empire is that they will attain godhood themselves and become a part of a family of perfected human beings. 
Manly P. Hall, a 33-degree Freemason, an occultist and regarded as one of the greatest authorities on the topic of secret societies and Freemasonry in particular, reveals in his book, The Secret Destiny of America, quote, In this way, the old dream of the philosophic empire descended from the ancient world to modern time. Secret societies still exist, and regardless of the intemperance of the times, they will continue to flourish until the quest is complete. For more than 3,000 years, secret societies have labored to create the background of knowledge necessary to the establishment of an enlightened democracy among the nations of the world." End quote. Hall goes on to explain that America was not founded as a constitutional republic based on biblical principles, but rather a massive experiment of social engineering formed out of the principal visions described in Sir Francis Bacon's book, The New Atlantis, in 1627. The basic principle was that the goal of attaining human perfection and a utopia that would come with it is the ultimate plan put forth and worked on since antiquity. He goes on to say, quote, The supreme human purpose is the perfection of man. This must come first, and when this end has been achieved, all good things will inevitably follow, end quote. These principles all stem back from what is known as the ancient mystery school teachings. The ancient mystery school teachings is an esoteric, spiritual wisdom and philosophy passed down by the initiated elite for centuries 